account of what we started at 4 o'clock this morning. The position now in Northern Ireland is that anyone can go anywhere Something at any happened time. here but What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware the whole communities were our enemy. They hated us. They hated us with a vengeance. And that became very, very apparent very, very quickly. I wasn't prepared for that level of hatred. The 16-year-old me was joining the army to get the best training possible and come back here and take the fight to the IRA. <laughs> It was just a feeling that this was going to be in for the long haul. This wasn't going to go away overnight. People say, oh, you were in a war. To me, it was no war. If somebody comes up and shoots you in the back of the head, how can that be a war? To me, that's cold-blooded murder. Singing songs and a carry inside. The expectation that something could happen every minute that really, really wore on your nerves and wore you down. It's like, you know, we're here to do a job, we're here to look after each other. The IRA are our enemy. We if we can get out of this alive, then that's 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 the big Brucey bonus thing. I mean, quite clearly, the grand strategic objective was to keep Northern Ireland as part of the United Kingdom. Stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going to stop.